these are the gene nappy inserts that my granddaughter used when uh, she was in nappies. Now I know they're biodegradable but the question I had was could you compost them in a worm bin and the reason for that is this is the bin that I compost down fox poo and dog, our dog poo in. It's a uh, red for danger you'll see. Now towards the end of uh, last year I threw some of the inserts into this bin and forgot about them really and when I came back to the bin a few months later they had completely composted down they were indistinguishable from anything else that was in the bin but what I noticed was there was almost no worms in the bin either and I don't know whether that was because the food source dried out I hadn't been putting much dog poo into the bin um, or whether there was something in the gene appies which caused the worms to uh, leave the bin and the gene appies just composted down naturally uh, without any assistance from the worms. So what I did was I got one of my trusty blue glass recycling bins from the council and I decided to set up a little experiment and in this bin I placed two of the um, biodegradable inserts which just had urine in, no faecal matter on the on the pads. Now where um, you see my hand on the bin there, this is the spot that I had put the pads in and you'll notice um, they're completely gone. This was six weeks ago, or thereabouts, 22nd of June, so that's about six weeks ago. Um, and you'll see that in six weeks, they have completely composted down, but more importantly for me, is that the, the bin has plenty of worms. Uh, I started with about 30 or 40 worms I think is all I put in and the reason for that low number was because if there was something in the pads which were uh, toxic to the worms or which they didn't like I didn't want to lose too many worms so I only put a small handful of worms into the bin and as you can see they're doing quite well um, the worms spread throughout the bin which is a good sign um, the bin comprised of uh, wood shavings and straw from the guinea pig beds and some wetted down cardboard and some of the lumps you see um, in the bin is the clumps of wet cardboard it's not the um, insides the gloopy insides of the uh, genappy insert there's one of the worms and he looks quite chunky quite lively so I'm quite happy in my own mind now that it's perfectly safe to compost down gene nappies in a worm bin. You can see everywhere I lift up clumps of the bedding there's worms. And there's no evidence that any of the worms have tried to leave the bin because there's no castings on the uh, side of the bin. That's just another clump of cardboard. And again the spot where the G nappy inserts were placed, completely gone, completely composted down into the bedding material by the worms. I'm just having a look through the bin to make sure that the worms are spread throughout the bin. It's one of the things I look for in small worm bins is that worms aren't all congregated in one area. It could mean that there's something about the bin that they don't like. Uh, but it's not bad enough for, to, to make them leave the bin. But as you can see the worms are spread quite well throughout the bin. And in actual fact there's a cocoon. So not only are they spread well throughout the bin but they're also reproducing which is a, a good sign so all in all yes our comp the, to, to answer the question are gene happy inserts safe to put in your worm bin absolutely